Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be playing with my Madam Glam colours doing the uh, the thread pulling technique. Oopsie daisies. Um, and at the end of the video, I will announce the winner of the little giveaway that I mentioned in the last video. Not the last video, the, the last Madam Glam video. So I'm going to use these colours. The first one is fresh water. This next one is early bird. Then I've got Neon Sun. I absolutely love this colour. Oh my god, it's amazing. And we've got Bright Barbie Pink, also one of my favourite colours. Uh, Light Lilac, again, my favourite. Yeah. And Perfect White, because we're going to use this as our base colour. So, you're going to need some cotton or thread. Um, if you don't have any cotton, um, you can use like any that's falling out of your old knickers or an old t-shirt <laughs> as was suggested to myself. Fortunately, I got some from my mum. She left some in a bag for me um, outside her front door. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is for the base, we're going to apply two coats. The first coat we're gonna cure in the lamp. These cure in an LED lamp for 30 seconds. The second coat we're gonna leave wet. So we're not gonna cure this second coat. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop that to one side for a minute. I'm gonna put all these gorgeous colors that I've got out onto my palette. And I'm gonna put them down in a, like a little line. They smell really nice. I was trying to show you that they smell really nice, but you can't see. They smell really, they've got like, um, like especially that bright Barbie pink, it's got a really sweet smell to it. It's really nice. So as you can see, I'm putting them on my palette in a little row. Make sure you don't get any of the color on the brush before you, like of the other color on the brush before you put it back in the bottle. Okay, here we go. Right, so then, you want to get your tip ready or your fingernail if it's on a real person though it probably won't be at the minute unless you're doing someone that lives in your household uh, then you want to take this the thread the cotton my little boy's down there he's upset he wants a thanos gauntlet and we can't afford to get him one at the minute it's like 67 quid or something um, he wants to do chores, but bless him. Right, I'm rub rubbing the cotton through the um, gel polish. Just making sure it's really nicely saturated. Then, you're going to get your tip. I was like, I had to go back in. I don't know why I had to go back in, just to make sure it's like proper wet. <laughs> then, just, I don't know how you're supposed to do it. It's just like, just play around with it. So, the first one I've done was... I was like, okay, hang on, I want the more colour up there. So I squidged it round and then I pulled the top bit of thread down and tried to leave the bottom bit like relatively straight. No, just like relatively still. And I was actually really pleased with how that one turned out. Um, the next one, now I didn't, um, I didn't clean the thread or anything. I just put it straight back into the gel polish, but it did have a bit of white on it. So as I go through this video, you might notice that the colours become more pastel-y. <laughs> um, this one, I went sort of from the top. And then, like, scooped it down again. Some people have been doing this with, like, ball chain as well. I, I was a bit annoyed that, that I had that little blip in the middle. So I went over this one again. I tried to sort of match up where the colour was initially. And that is how that one ended up. I quite like that one too, actually. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. And this time I double dip the cotton. So I dip one side and then I dip it across again. Because I wanted to get the cotton... The cotton didn't really... Uh, it didn't really angle very nicely for me. It was a bit awkward. I, it wouldn't like... Can you see? I'm having... It was really... It was a pain in the ass. <laughs> so this one I was like, right, I'm just going to pull that down and see what happens. Pull them both at the same time. And then, yeah, change my mind. So I was like, right, I'm just going to pull that one down. But again, I mean... 
I just maybe it's just because I like the colours that I was pleased with how it turned out. Pop them in the lamp. Then we can move on to our next one. So this one I'd done in two parts. I'd done a, a top bit. So I put it on at the top and pulled it across, sort of. And then I'm going to put it on again. So I just put the the cotton back through the gel polish. See, if you're a lefty, it might be easier for you to go from the other side. Actually, no, I don't know. I don't know how, I don't know. But I wanted to do like two bits on this one. I really, I don't know. I love the colors that I chose. I was like, no, I'm gonna think better of it. And so I left that one like that. See, again, I just think that's so pretty. I love the colors. <laughs> By the way, if you wanna get 30% off Madame Glam, you can do so using my code NATMUG30. So we've got four now. Uh, what am I gonna do? All right, this one, I decided to do something different. So I'm gonna use base coat to run the color through on this one. So we're gonna do two coats of white. We're gonna cure both coats of white, which I've done here already. Then we're gonna go over with the base gel, base coat. And I'm not gonna cure this. So we're gonna run the thread through the uncured base coat this time. I kind of, after I'd done this, I wondered what it might look like with um, a blooming gel. I, I, I wonder, maybe I should try with a blooming gel and see what happens. But this is me running it through the base coat and I really liked how it ended up. I really like that. I thought that was nice. Really pleased with that. Pop it in the lamp. Again, the base coat cures for 30 seconds. And that was all of these. But then I decided I wanted to do something else. I haven't top coated these yet because I'm gonna do something else to them or to one of them at least anyway. I've got another nail here. Now I've put one coat of white and I've cured it. Then this is the second coat. I'm not gonna cure this. I'm gonna do the thread pulling business using the same colors that have definitely gone more pastely. <laughs> there we go and just pull that down and I'm gonna cure that in the lamp now that was nice I like that oh, I love this um, so I've cured it in the lamp and now I'm gonna go over with base gel and we're gonna pull it again in the opposite direction I'm gonna turn the nail upside down I don't know why I wanted to do this. I was just having a play around, really. Uh, turn it upside down, and then we're going to do the same thing, but coming from the bottom, that, that the opposite direction, just to see, just to see what it looks like, really. Give it a yoink. There we go. And I kind of liked that, like a, like an, like a. It's like it looks like a number two. Um, but I, I can kind of see a, a, a bird's head. So I decided that I was gonna paint on a bird's head. I don't know why, I don't know where I was going with this. It's just, it was just a spur of the moment thing. So I'm using, I'm actually using, I'm not using gel polish here, I'm using Nelkami's um, Artisan gel paints to do this because they are thicker than gel polish and they are beautifully pigmented and they're nice to use when I'm doing, um, you know, freehand stuff like this. So you see how that color goes down. That's gonna be sort of the neck. And I'm just gonna, what, like, oh, I'm so crap at explaining. I'm not gonna, I literally just wanna do a head and I'm gonna fade the head, the color, the, the I am used black because I thought it was quite nice against all those pretty colors. Um, I'm using, I think I put base coat down and I'm going to use that to f uh, dilute the black. So um, as we get down the neck, we're going to dilute that colour and we're going to fade it into the other colours. I think I'm making sense. See? 
um, cured that in, or flash cured it, I think I have. Then I'm going to do a beak. And I'm just going to do a, just do the outline of the beak. I'm not going to colour it in or anything. Now this isn't any, this isn't a, a particular bird. It's just, a, I just wanted it to be a bird. Um, so yeah, just whatever. <laughs> I think if I hadn't have felt like that, I could see a sort of bird's head on it, then I wouldn't have done it. Oh, I put two little like feathers coming off his head. I don't know that many birds have that. Maybe peacocks do, I can't remember, but it wasn't supposed to be a peacock. Then using a dotting tool, I've got some white artisan gel paint and I'm gonna dob on an eye. I'm using the dotting tool because obviously they're called dotting tools for a reason. They make nice dots. Okay, flash cure that in the lamp and I'm gonna do, this, do the same but with a smaller dotting tool and we're gonna make the pupil of the bird's eye. Dob. And then I'm gonna give that a full cure. How cute is that bird? Oh my gosh. And then this particular nail, it looked a bit like a feather. So instead of instead of being all like neat and following the lines that were already there, I thought I would draw the outline of a feather over the top of the colour that's already there. And I quite liked that in some places the colour wasn't inside the lines it it kind of popped out the outline i'm gonna i'm gonna speed this bit up because i was a little bit slow doing this so i'll just let you let you watch this Okay, so that's nearly done. I actually, um, I actually had to Google feathers because I needed to look at one to draw it. I can't draw things from my head, unfortunately. <laughs> I think it's because I've got a brain like a sieve. Then I am going to use some of the Nalchemy Crystal Totalist Gem Glue. And the bird is going to have... Right, these crystals are actually the Model 1's crystals that came with that nail art kit. I just wanted to use them. And look at look how gorgeous these are. But I don't mean this horribly, but Model 1's is a very reasonably priced company. These crystals look the business. They're so good. I'd buy that art kit just for these crystals. End of. Um, so anyway, moving on. I'm putting some of the gem glue on the feather now where I want the gems to go. I want them to circle around two corners. No. Is it circle around here? Well, I want them to go up an angle at the bottom and then around that corner at the top. Just sort of like following the shape of the feather. So I'm gonna put on, I don't don't cover it mass, don't like saturate it in gem glue, but you wanna put enough on so that your gems have got enough to stick on. You're also gonna be using these like micro beads. You can get these from eBay, AliExpress, like any cheapy kind of that you don't have to spend masses on those, you can get them anywhere really. And then I'm going to just pick out random crystals and start placing them where I want them. And later on, once I'm happy with how many crystals I've got on, I will then place the uh, micro beads around the crystals just to fill in any gaps and neaten up, neaten up like the, the crystal line. So I'll just let you watch this. Okay, so can you see what I mean by adding the adding the little micro crystals in just to fill gaps and like around the edges, it just sort of neatens it all up. I really like that. Oh, I love it. Right, pop it in the lamp for 60 seconds because the gem glue cures for 60 seconds. And then on this bird, I decided that he was going to have, or she, it could be he though, it's usually, um, it could be a she I meant, but it's usually the, the males of 
the bird world that are usually the prettier ones, isn't it? Because they have to attract a mate. So we'll call it a he. He's going to have some crystals just randomly dotted on. I don't know why. I don't know what I was doing. I just thought it would be nice to have some crystals on him. And they're all going to be... I'm trying to pick out all the same size ones. I want them to be all the same size. And they're going to be roughly about the same distance apart. It doesn't really matter. And then again, once I've finished, I'm going to pop that into the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. I think I did add a couple more actually after I'd shown you that. Yeah, look. And then that's them finished. Uh, we need to top coat now. So I thought I was going to use the velvet matte top coat, but I don't. I actually just use Madame Glam's non-wipe top gel. So I'm going to top coat these. I'm going to call them normal nails. The nails that we didn't do anything extra to. I, I love I love to even like top coating just simple plain nails like this when you come to top coat them they just look they just I don't know what it is about top coating it's just a glorious thing <laughs> that we all should celebrate yeah I'll just let you watch this Okay, so now they are covered and looking schwexy. Oh my God, they're amazing. Shove them in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. Then the feather one with the crystals on. I say it before, I say it again. If you put crystals on a nail, don't top coat over them because they will lose their sparkle. So butt your brush up to the edge of the crystals, but not over. There was a hair or something in this that I had to, I had to edit, edit it out, me picking the hair off. Um, bloody hairs pop that in the lamp to cure as well once you're happy with that and then we've got the this is oh, the, the pain in the butt um when you do a nail like this because it's got loads of crystals dotted all over the place use a detailer brush i'm using my um nail sugar natalie Mugridge detailer brush i will in a minute i'm going to put a little bit of this top coat on a palette and then I'm just going to use my detailer brush to go around the crystals, making sure that I don't go over them. This is the only way to make sure that you don't cover them up. It's tedious and boring, but it will be worth it, I promise. And your little birdie, your little crystal birdie will be pleased with you because he'll still be able to sparkle and attract a mate. I know, we're too kind. <laughs> anyway, when you're done, pop him in the lamp to cure. And that is him finished. I think he's absolutely adorable. Very, very pretty bird indeed. And then I'll show you the, the set. So here they are all finished. I hope you like them. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. I am thinking of doing another giveaway next week. So make sure you stay tuned. Um, I am going to announce the winner of this competition right now um i'll let you watch it on the screen actually <laughs> i'm not going to give anything away um but if the winner can drop me a message on facebook or instagram whatever is easiest um then i can get your information over to madame lamb and they'll send it directly to you so we have got it took its time here it's thinking about it um there was actually 380 of you that entered that's quite a lot. I think that's a lot that we've, the most we've had in a long time. Yay, well done, Lena. So if you could give me your address at some point, um, and my dog Lamb will get the, um, the little giveaway out to you. And I will see you all on Monday. Bye.